intention right now is to bring humility to the space with a genuine desire to um, co-create a better future for us to tap into our power and work together to create community, sustainable abundance, um, permaculture. Thank you. And um, live good, true, and beautiful lives. Um, so I come to you humbly. Uh, or we are bringing, um, merging the worlds of plant medicine, of uh, cannabis, the ganja game, of um, alchemy, of tech, and of crypto. And essentially, times are changing. We need holistic, sustainable solutions, pretty much complete, um, complete, uh, systemic solutions to create a new paradigm so um economics is essentially the backbone of the new paradigm and tech and tools is the way that we're going to evolve the conscious evolution of humanity together forward so um i'm stewarding this information um and humbly trying to bring it and merge those worlds of burning man plant medicine you know where we can have ceremonies essentially like this um there's also a principle called like core shamanism. So we're just trying to practice like harm reduction, peer support in, a, in an environment like this, like core shaman principles, because, you know, fate might put us all in a medicine ceremony at some point in the future together. And at least we have a common ground to uh, walk uh, with and sit with and pray with. So um, thank you all for letting me speak. Um, I believe that there is a practical application for sacred geometry. I know it's very beautiful to look at and um, fun to get tattoos of and this and that, but I believe that um, I believe that uh, we can use it and apply it to our lives to elevate our consciousness, to um, harmonize um, the frequency of our beings and our thoughts and actions and um, and. I believe that uh, what I've already kind of uh, been working with, uh, just here's a couple examples of human, or uh, <laughs> of sacred geometry, the Metatron's cube, which is the food of life, but every node is connected to every other node at the exact center, so it creates a Metatron's cube. There's actually two nesting cubes within each other, um, and the Star of David is obviously uh, present. And then the 64 star tetrahedron is kind of like the next fractal octave, uh, 64 is not divided by 12 necessarily, but I believe that they all kind of play a um, common goal with each other. This is a uh, Metatron's cube, a fruit of life for the 12, superimposed on top of um, essentially the 64 star tetrahedron. Um, so the reason I'm telling you about, uh, about um, Sacred geometry is because um, I believe that we can use sacred geometry to um, develop economic systems, educational systems, corporate social infrastructure, personal psycho spiritual infrastructure. Um, I believe that you know the difference between a finely tuned engine and like whatever else is the precision of the uh, of the engineering. So I believe that we can engineer the future with each other if we. Um, and that the sacred geometry can support us to to be focused and to manifest. Um, when you take a, a, a geometry like this and you put it into a 3D realm, then it actually becomes a toroidal field of um, actually electromagnetic energy or intention or whatever you want to call it, but um, it becomes a toroidal field of, of infinite energy potential. So I don't have that model here, but um, it's something I'm passionate about. And um, should go into the exercise or keep talking about this? Maybe you explain the human design thing. Okay, so for those that are familiar with human design, should we show our hands? Does everybody, anybody know what human design is? Raise your hand if you do. Cool, cool. So human design is essentially um, using the same algorithms as, um, as astrology and uh, let me see what, and the I Ching. The human design uh, combines the mystical wisdom traditions of the Chinese I Ching, the uh, Ayurvedic, uh, Hindu m m seven chakra mythology and mysticism, 
with uh, tropical astrology, which is like the zodiac astrology of the West, and so that's the human design system. And I believe that um, if we organize ourselves around, essentially, the human design system postulates essentially it's the science of differentiation. So we're all we're all sacred and unique and individual, and that's what makes this incarnation kind of special and holy and sacred and everything, but um, we also can work with each other in our differences, just being made um, differently, and we can leverage those talents, gifts, and skills to create um, the new world. So according to this, um, there's statistical factors of the human design system. The manifestors are less than one in 10, so um, there's one out of 12. The projectors, there's three projectors here, and then the rest are uh, generators, are manifesting generators. I believe if you design your teams, your businesses, your organizations, your projects, based on human design and this type of um, hacking, it's called like, you know, <laughs> spirit hacking or something, because you can sit together in a group like this of 12 people and everybody can be the same, you know, archetype, same archetype, there's four archetypes in the human design system. Everybody could be the same, everybody could be different, but and then there's only two options. You know what everybody's, you know, energetic blueprint is, or, or you're not aware of it. I believe that being aware of it gives you, like, you know, an advantage, a competitive advantage in many different areas. Um, I happen to be a manifester. Uh, projectors are really rare for me. Who is a pure generator, right? Who is a pure generator? I can explain all this a little bit later, or, I mean, maybe individually or something if you want, but... Um, Essentially, everybody plays their role, and uh, <laughs> I work with a professional human design uh, consultant, and um, he said that uh, essentially, if you actually design groups like this, say that we, you know, there's 12 people that had a um, that were in a company and they wanted to optimize their efficiency and and do great things, then uh, if you get the right people, you got to scout and get the right people, but you can put all the human design charts together and they create a completely whole chart and you can have essentially guaranteed success if you design the, t the team or the or the organization right you can have guaranteed success there's no there's no the, the, op the efficiency has been optimized there's no holes there's no gaps nobody's repeating the same job as another person nobody's sitting around all day because there's inefficiencies it's like guaranteed success and so that's what i'm working towards and trying to bring to the table this is also you know outside the current crypto and tech game and everything like that this type of kind of esoteric um traditions it's definitely dabbled in here and there but um like i said i believe we're at the crossroads if you will of um some really cool breakthroughs for humanity and um there's a lot of reasons to be <laughs> scared and all this but i believe that uh hope is our key to um to working through and eventually um creating sustainable generational wealth and abundance for us and our families so I'm blessed to be here sharing this with you guys. Um, I've been working with this. <laughs> I channeled this Metatron's Cube kind of workflow. Uh, in 2017, I was in the Bay Area trying to like uh, do chocolate startup, cannabis startup, do the whole nine yards. And I was like sitting there, I'm like, just writing my notes, notes, notes. You can write on paper like this all day. It's like, there's gotta be a way in, re you know, that <laughs> God gave us to just organize our shit to, to like crush it. And it's like, this popped in my head. It's like, there you go, try this. And uh, so I started trying it, and it kind of just unlocked, unlocked a lot of like kind of the, the chaotic energy. I was able to um, to channel it, focus it, and um, be blessed by this sacred geometry. So one, some more examples. Um, and I've done tons of research, and uh, I don't have the presentation here, but this kind of Star of David design is called a Merkaba. Has anybody heard this word, Merkaba? So essentially, like we're these Merkabas of light energy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we tap into that on, uh, you know, psychedelic play medicines. Like, you kind of travel through time and space in your Merkaba energy body. So, um, Merkaba, Metatron's Cube, 64 Star Tetrahedron. These are all kind of similar, um, similar things. I believe uh, <laughs> The Metatron's Cube is also like 24 hours in a day. There's 12 dot nodes here, so each node is two hours, okay? For example, that means 24 hours. It's a map of time. Just a way for you to see time organized as well. So the exercise is, because um, even myself, I'm like, dude, I like so many things. Um, you know, everybody's like, oh, you like too many things or whatever. So, okay. 
So let me pick the 12 things. <laughs> so it's like, let me pick the 12 things that I can look at on this paper and be like, okay, these are the 12 things that I spend or I do spend or want to spend most of the time of my life doing um, to have a holistic sense of, um, of happiness, essentially. And so I'm going to read mine really quick. It's not on the screen, but I'm just going to read mine really quick. And then hopefully you guys kind of get the tip. These can be ways you make money. This can be people you love to hang out with. Um, but uh, hopefully you all are able to channel it real quick and it makes sense because I'm trying to help them make sense. So mine, for example, were, so my 12 prioritized things of life that define me in this exact snapshot moment of my desires and the things I like. Okay, so it's mine I put, my wife Lua, but my cats, I put skateboarding, I put fashion designing clothes, put Canada's Gondrepreneur, put music production, video production, my current film trilogy project, um, comedy podcast, both consuming and making, sacred economics research and implementation, um, alternative history, I studying alternative history is something I do and like to do, and then techno shamanism. So those are my 12, and they might change, and they might say the same, but um, that would be what I would want to share with somebody so they could look at them and go, wow, I know more about you just knowing these, and um, we're going to talk a little bit more about how we could use this to connect and, and, and everything like that in the future. But if you guys are willing to do this exercise, I humbly ask. I don't know, do you guys get the exercise? Yeah. Does anybody need clarity? Just so if you had to oh. pick 12 things, that you will be that you will spend your time with. It could be things that you already do. It could be also desires that haven't been in, in this life, in this reality yet. Yes. So if you could pick twelve, how would you spend your time? And then do we just in each of the circle? Doesn't matter the order. Okay. It will make sense after, and you create a sense of groups inside of that. Right now, we just want you to kind of channel the first 12 things and write it one in each of those circles. Like deep, for each of these, going to be like a deep of the other one? Um, each of the notes? Yeah. No, it's essentially, that's why I just want to optimize the efficiency. So if I put like video production, video editing, video this, it's like, okay, it's a like video, like kind of thing or, or whatever. Um, I got it. Okay. So yeah, okay, just so. spend some time creating that for you. Just take a few minutes. Yeah. I think this one is not functional. So. Yeah, yeah. You could do this map with not just specific. Anything. It's right, yeah. Anything. Anything. It's literally a map for you're organizing your life and your thoughts. You can do that for anything you want. That's the, the practice. But this exercise right now is about your time. About your time. Your, the value of your time. Does that make sense? Okay. My husband Taj, my kitties, my home, music, dance and exercise, my family and community, God, studying, teaching, design, fashion, and travels. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you for uh, humoring this exercise. Um, I believe that one thing that uh, our community is not doing and, like, you know, the revolution <laughs> isn't doing is, like, um, knowing what our data is, knowing what, um, you know, putting, putting this data to words and leveraging our data, like, through... Uh, what we know so i heard uh this brother does music this brother does music this sister does music um and i forgot who else said music but for me that's like okay sick like let's talk that group you know a lot of people do healing um i have other models i'm gonna uh we're kind of short on time but uh, I say that, but i want to uh shoot. i'm gonna share does anybody raise your hand in here if you know what a pitch deck is? Pitch deck? Cool. So a pitch deck is essentially um, the new uh, paradigm of business plans. And actually, um, as Synchronicity would have it, they they recommend um, 
a lot of pitch decks now are organized. Essentially a pitch deck is, okay, I have a business and um, I have organized all of the pertinent information of my business into something called the 12 magic slides. So essentially if you have an idea, this is mostly for investment, but it's like, okay, I have an idea, I've worked it all out, I'm gonna organize it into 12 magic slides, I'm gonna sit in front of an investor for 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna pitch them, and then they're gonna get, you know, essentially a yes or a no, depending on how well all that goes. But the, the, the pitch deck is what I believe is an aspect of, of what I mean by, um, it's time for the forces of good on this earth to become highly organized, because if we can organize ourselves into this level of detail, then um, I believe we can get people on board and we can do projects and businesses and all of this kind of stuff that will propel the conscious evolution of humanity forward. So this pitch deck, I'm gonna share with you all just so um, we can share kind of what something like that looks like. I can encourage you guys all to, you know, organize your projects into something like this to, to help you, you know, get investment share with other people, bring people onto your team, find uh, co-founders, whatever you need to do. But this is, I believe, the professional stepping stone that I want to support the plant medicines community, the spiritual community, you know, pitch decks, business plans, all this stuff isn't normally what that community has. I want shamans to have pitch decks, you know, in the middle of the jungle, be like, okay, dude, I need to grow. I need to get my community together. Okay, I got this shit. I'm organizing myself in uh, sacred geometry and I'm going to, so I believe it's a universal tool, which is why I'm not sharing it. So, this is a, um, a feature film trilogy project. I'm gonna kind of cruise through this and then go cook for you beautiful people. So thank you for that opportunity. So this is a film, feature film trilogy project that we have called Project Lyra. That's the working title, it has a different name, but in, uh, as we're passing this around, we're calling it Project Lyra. And um, I'm just gonna kind of blaze through real quick. Sci-fi crypto fantasy adventure trilogy, installing the new cultural operation system, operating system. Essentially saying that old systems are failing um, and we need to create new social paradigm of social multimedia, tech, music, film, television, memes, internet, and dance that um, elevates culture and propels us into the future. Um, so why are we are here? Problem, reaction, solution. The problem, an example of here is the music and entertainment industries are still falling behind and out of date in modern business and culture sectors. They're dropping the ball on the opportunity to catalyze the mass adoption of new and innovative solutions for a better world. Reaction, we are pioneering a new paradigm of multimedia production, publishing, and distribution. We'll be utilizing state-of-the-art technologies, leveraging recent innovations in blockchain, DAO, smart contract, Web3, virtual production, live event, mixed reality, animation, and video game technologies. Okay, I'm not gonna read everything. So these are some movies that we're inspired by. Um, I'm gonna play through this because we're short on time. So essentially just laying out as many aspects of the project that you can, executive team, industry allies. So then here's part of where I'm using the, hum uh, the Metatron's Cube, core production team. This is a snapshot of our core production team. If we dial in this core production team, legal, accounting, sales and marketing, everything involved, then we can have essentially, like I said, the guaranteed success with this project if the team is fully dialed in. Um, here's another example. This film will be um, leveraging the networks of uh, 12 different musical uh, influencers to tap into their organic network and then we can collaborate on music inside of the film with them and then leverage their um, audience. So I believe that's innovative. This is a new paradigm equity structure where this is 100%. So I have 100% of my profits. Now I split it in between different people, collaborators I can bring on Lua, and it's called Vested Interest. Okay, uh, I will give you 5% of all of our profits if you work for this company, and then we could put this on a, on a crypto smart contract, and as soon as the, um, the project has success, then you'll just get paid through a smart contract. There's no one person um, that does it. It's all automated, and it's um, so a decentralized autonomous organization that could be built upon so that um, everything happens in the way it needs, potential cast talent for the specific movie. Um, a little bit more narrative, uh, competitive analysis. This is a, so uh, I did this on AI art. It has a kind of a Shipibo fusion background. So um, I just beat character essentially in the movie, but it's like in, infusing Shipibo, shamanic cultures and traditions so we can raise awareness um, through uh, the art and pop culture, music, television, films, uh, budget in there. Uh, 
This is Project Boom Bus. It's kind of affiliated as teaching uh, music, uh, video, and design to children through autonomously also through something called the Soul, the self-organized learning environment. So all this can be on the blockchain and using sacred geometry. And then this is uh, what I'm calling Club 144, DAO 144. I also had the vision, I'm like, okay, if we can just get 144 people together in LA, I, I want it to be like a worldwide kind of thing, but starting one at a time, it's like, we get 144 people together in LA to be our soul tribe, essentially, and everybody has a unique kind of personality to bring to the table. Everybody has unique talents, gifts, and skills to um, that we can leverage. If we had 144 people working, if we had all of their um, information, like everybody just did this exercise, if it was hashtagged in a database, then it's like, okay, I need a body worker. Okay, I need a um, cinematographer. Okay, I need an accountant. It's like, you can just go to your soul tribe. You can uh, hashtag them. Oh, I need a dog sitter. Okay, I need a freaking lawyer. It's like, I'm a, <laughs> whatever it is, it's like, okay, we've already done the organizational work. And so now we have this database to tap into and um, really leverage our missions. So um, essentially the, the vision I got behind the Club 144 is that if 144 people um, spent $144 a month, then we could get access to a mansion clubhouse. It would be pretty much all of our dreams come true. It provide the LA's best water, LA's best food. It would be um, a place for community to hang out. If we have a shaman coming from around the world, we have a place to put them instead of not a place to put them or a hotel, you know. Um, everybody in the club would get first right refusal for using, leveraging the clubhouse for whatever they wanted to. Um, essentially, <laughs> I believe it's a, a means to an end to make our dreams come true, creating heaven on earth and just like, ha uh, it's called a decentralized autonomous organization. So essentially 144 people a month pay $144. It's 20,000 something dollars. A mansion is like uh, 16,000. So that's not your clubhouse infrastructure. And part of the reason I'm telling you guys about crypto, blockchain, and all this is because all the banks will tell you, you're just not reading this fine print necessarily, I'm not speaking for everybody, but everybody will be using blockchain crypto in the next three years, whether they know it or not. The banks are adopting it. They're not telling you or they're telling you in the fine print. Um, they just released Fed now, which is the Federal Reserve cryptocurrency. It's called a central bank digital currency. And once we're all on the central bank digital currency, Say I post about ayahuasca and then the bank says, well, actually, I don't want you to post about ayahuasca. It's bad. And so they can cut me out of my bank account. So for our lifestyle choices, for our, for our choices, for the things we say, they can, um, they'll have easier access to separate us from my money. The uh, <laughs> FDIC, which is the bank insurance, they've already claimed that um, most money isn't very secure right now. That's why we're moving into a new paradigm. And I think this is putting us ahead of the curve. Most people are like, what will I do with this information? It's like, you might not think you need it now, but if we get competent, educated, um, and organized, we can be ahead of the curve. We can have our own, essentially, crypto blockchain. Um, we can have a means of exchange for exchanging products, goods, and services, so we can create an interdependent network of products, goods, and services amongst each other. And um, essentially, to make this work, we need all 40, 144 people in at once. I, like I said, the clubhouse and the club is, provides uh, undeniable value. Like, holy shit, this investment is undeniable value for me. And it wouldn't even be profit for me. It's like, it's more about me trying to support my community to step into a higher, fract higher fractal nature of um, bliss consciousness and health, wellness, community. We could do, obviously, ceremonies in a place like this, which we could do small ceremonies here, but um, everywhere has their logistics, right? So... This is what I believe could, could be the future. We could have one, you know, Seattle, Austin, like all around the world. And then if you're in the club, then you can also hop around other club mansions around the world. So um, I would benefit just as much as everybody else would benefit. And I just wanted to offer that into your consciousness as a seed because, um, because it, the back end would be <laughs> pretty much built by myself, Daniel, like uh, people that know these, these different crypto things, uh, these decentralized finance kind of means to an end. And uh, the reason we're doing this, like I said, is because you might not be paying attention, but Elon Musk just changed Twitter to x.com. x.com wants to be an equivalent of something called WeChat in China. China has one app, it's called WeChat. It's your Facebook, it's your banking, it's your messaging, it's your dating, it's every single thing. And the government, if you say something you don't like or do something you don't like, the government would be like, you can't buy plane tickets, you can't buy bus tickets, you can't buy groceries. Like it's happening right now. 
and I believe that they're trying to bring the economic system to the United States in a different packaging, but um, I believe that the thousands of hours that we've all researched is, is kind of like leaning towards this, so um, I'm trying to speak on behalf of my brothers and sisters. I grew up around semiconductors, computer chips, computers, everything like that, so I'm bringing an entire lifetime of technological kind of like observation to the table so that we can, uh, you know, maybe not for everybody, but there might be 12 people in here. We can sit down like, okay, what do we do? Let's hustle. Let's, let's crush it. And there might be another group of 12 people. Like we all like reading. We all like this. It's like, okay, great. Everybody diver d deserves diversified revenue streams, both passive and active. You deserve, if you like dogs, you deserve to have passive revenue stream for dogs. If you, if you like video, I deserve passive and active revenue streams for my talents, gifts and skills. So I'm trying to bring to the table economic, sustainable economic models, systems, and solutions that we can all continue talking about leveraging and um, building generational wealth for ourselves and our families for future generations, sustainable permaculture, food, fuel, and fiber, and a, a blissful um, life sharing with each other, so. And at the same time, spiritual people, plant medicine people, plant medicine communities don't have that wisdom in education to even get to this level of planning. So we're just kind of going with the flow while the world is going crazy. And we need to merge these communities so we can merge these worlds and actually be the ones that generate wealth and actually be the ones that have these awesome community apps that we're all connecting that way. That we're also aware of what's happening in the system and don't let ourselves get lost in it and afraid and get into the world of solutions. So that's the, the vision here to share. So our vision to start, like that's how to start, how do we start? <laughs> we wanna start the club. And this is like the, the celebration party. The club has started. <laughs> you all here being part of this creation of something new. And if you are called to deepen this with us, we're going to do like a no-brainer deal so we get everybody on board. So our plan is that we're going to meet for in the next four months, once a month on Zoom. And that's going to be a once a month group meeting that we get to integrate our plant medicine journeys, that we get to maybe share something you need or a dream you have that we get to have more of this and create consistency. Once a month, it's not a big deal. We can make it happen. We're gonna do $1 for the first month <laughs> and we're gonna do $7 for the next three months. And the $7 is just that symbol, symbol for you that you're committing because we need commitment. This is not a thing that we're just gonna resolve in a day. This is long time planning, and if we want to have a beautiful future and make all of our dreams come true, we need to get in the wave and start. So that was our idea and how we want to start. So you guys are all invited to join for a dollar <laughs> the next four months. And if it's not resonating, that's totally fine too. But that we want to share with you this plan because this is very special to us. This is a seed that I'm really excited to be able to integrate what Taj is, is sharing and also connect with more of you in that way. We don't need to just be doing ceremonies, just the only way that we connect. A lot of our communities, that has been the only way. We just see each other in the ceremony on our Alaska retreat. It's like, no, let's talk business. Like, let's make shit happen. Let me know what you want. Let me know your skills. You know mine. Like, we can create this and, and learn step by step because we don't need to know everything. That's why we're bridging communities. There will be people that will open that space if you don't know. And if you do know, if you are the one that's like, I'm fucking doing it like Taj, like I'm, I'm in it, it gets, in, it gets inspired. There's inspiration for these people to work through because they're doing something that is divine and that lights their soul. Yes, so give it up for our first crypto incubator. Woo! 
Yeah, we're going to bring more wisdom. Like, there's more to share, right? There's so much to learn, and there's so many ways. So I, I believe that things will be developed as they go. That's why it depends on who is there. It really depends who is the group, who, who is the group, so that we have something to start. Because that really depends, right? Maybe, like Taj, he has this whole project. So even we already have uh, a connection to made, and maybe you already have a project. Or if someone that doesn't have a project, so they get to enter how they can bring their magic, how they can open their dream, 